Hello everyone, it's Tracy here to share my first tutorial of 2021 for Little Birdie Crafts featuring the gorgeous Celebrate Life collection. I've created this shabby mixed media card for our granddaughter who's turning four next month. I selected two papers from this gorgeous collection and cut the pink, which will be the frame, to five by seven inches and the focal paper to four and a half by six and a half inches. To add visual texture and soften the design, I'm dry brushing with white gesso. This technique is simply using a dry brush to lightly apply gesso or paint. I dip the brush into the gesso, then stroke it onto a packaging scrap to remove most of the gesso before applying it to the paper. Here I'm using a stiff fan brush. Be sure to use a light touch so you don't cover the beautiful design. Here I'm dry brushing only the edges since the center will be covered by the focal paper. Once the gesso is dry, I put the two pieces together. Do you ever struggle with getting your papers lined up? Here's an easy way I found to get the edges even while adhering. First I apply a strip of terrible double-sided tape around the edges of the smaller focal paper. I'm tearing the tape with my bone folder, but you could also cut it or tear it with your fingers, whatever's easiest for you. This is one half inch tape, but you could also use quarter inch tape as well. Once the tape is down, apply some silicone glue to the center then place it onto the larger pink paper. While the glue is still wet, you can adjust the two pieces to get them perfectly aligned. Set it aside for a few moments to let the glue set, then peel off the paper liner to adhere the edges. Tweezers are a handy tool to help remove the liner if you have them. You could skip the tape, but I like my edges to be securely adhered. Little Birdie's shimmery sherbet metallic paint coordinates beautifully with the Celebrate Life colors. Our sweet granddaughter is celebrating her fourth birthday next month, so this ornate numbered chipboard is absolutely perfect. I use a foam dabber to apply the paint, then smooth it out using a soft fan brush. To add a shabby feel to these gorgeous Little Birdie flowers from the Celebrate Life and Shabby Chic collections, I'm dry brushing them with white gesso. I have links below in the description for the beautiful flowers used on this card. Here's my creative process for arranging the elements onto the card. I like to start with the larger embellishments and build out the cluster from there with smaller items. Using flowers in a variety of shapes and sizes adds interest. In addition to the gorgeous flowers, I'm layering in several glittered pieces from the Celebrate Life Ephemera Pack. A tiny metal bee from my stash adds a little whimsy. This sentiment has been stamped on a scrap of vellum. Now 
I'm adhering everything to the card using a silicone-based glue, I like to get the larger pieces in place first, then I have a better feel for where to adhere the smaller items to fit the space nicely. This leaf stem is cut off since it would be covered by blossoms. It will be moved out to the edge of the cluster. Vellum can be tricky to apply because it's translucent and most adhesives will remain visible. I found that a spray adhesive works best. Now I'm adding a tiny triple loop bow hand tied from twine. I left the tails long to wind around the floral cluster. You only need a few dabs of glue here and there to hold it in place. This is a snippet of the bird and birdcage prime chipboard piece. I used the other part on a previous project and these birds fit the space and design perfectly. The flowers and birds were calling for some bling so I adhered clear rhinestones from my stash using soft gel medium. Now I'm adding pearls in and around the cluster. Although you can't see it, I'm dipping the backs of them into soft gel medium to adhere. Here's where I realized the gel medium was off camera and moved it into view. Sometimes when I'm creating, I realize that I need a little something more, which happened here. I scoured through my stash of jewelry bits and pieces and found this beautifully textured piece. It was the correct shape and size, but the wrong color. That's an easy fix with white gesso and a bit of the sherbet metallic paint. For added texture around the cluster edges, I'm adhering Mystique Rose microbeads and mini craft pellets with soft gel medium. You can wipe away any excess gel medium with a soft brush. As a side note, I always use an older or inexpensive brush for gel medium since it can be difficult to clean completely off of your brush. Now that the card is complete, it's time to create the base. I cut a 7 by 10 inch piece of white premium cardstock and scored it at 5 inches to form the 5 by 7 inch base. You can use the same process seen earlier to adhere the beautiful card to the base using double sided tape and silicone glue.
Here are photos of the completed card for you to enjoy. Thanks so much for viewing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Leave a comment or question below. Your feedback and support means so much to me. You can stop by the Little Birdie Craft Store to pick up many of the supplies used in this video. A link can be found in the description below.